Given a binary tree, please write a program to determine whether this is a valid binary search tree. How can you do that? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through legal problem 198, validate binary search tree. Given a binary tree, it's asking us to determine whether this is a valid binary search tree. Assume a binary search tree is giving us definition here. The left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys less than the nodes key. And the right subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys greater than the nodes key. Both the left and right subtrees must also be the binary search tree. With this understood, let's take a look at a couple examples. For example, assume we're given this binary tree, 213. Is this a valid binary search tree? I would say so, because the left side, one is smaller than the node's value, which is two. Okay, cool. And then the right side, three is greater than the node's value. Cool. This is a valid binary search tree. No problem with that. Very simple. Let's take a look at the second example. So first, we'll check this node. Its left side is one. One is smaller than five, and its right side is seven. Seven is greater than five. Okay, this is cool. This node is meeting the definition of BST. Then we'll continue to check. This one doesn't have any left or right. So we'll come to its right side. This one does have a left and right ch right children. So we'll check. Still, 3 is smaller than 7. 8 is greater than 7. That's cool. This node is also meeting the definition of a BST. But at this point, can we draw the conclusion that this is a valid BST? Of course not. Why? Because this node, the, per the definition of a valid BST, that means the right subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys greater than the nodes greater than the node's keys, meaning every single node on the right side must be exactly greater than this node's value. Here, although every single node here in this subtree, it is a, a valid BST, right? But put this subtree into the entire tree, we can see that three is on the right side of this node, but it is smaller than this root node. That's not permissible. So this is not a valid BST. So if we simply do a depth first search to traverse through every single node and always compare its left and right with the root node to see if the left is smaller than the root node and the right side is bigger than the root node, that's not enough. We cannot guarantee that this is a valid BST. What can we do to solve our problem? What we can do is that we can introduce two new variables. One is called a mean or a local minimum variable, or the other is a local maximum variable. So that every time when we traverse through a subtree, a particular subtree, we know the upper bound and the lower bound. We always compare, instead of comparing that with the roots value, we always compare with the min and max to see if this node's value is still within the boundary between min and max. If that's the case, then we can guarantee this, is, this entire tree is a BST. How will that work out in the actual tree? Let's walk through this example. So given this one, at the very beginning, we were only given access to the root node, which is the node with value 5. So in the beginning, we'll initialize max and min to be now. So for this node, max and min is going to be now. And then we'll go to the left side. For the left side, what's the min and what's the max? For a binary tree to be a valid binary search tree, the left side needs to be exactly smaller than the root node. So right now, the min and max, both of them are now, but when we traverse to the left side, what do we have? We have the max value. Max value is this root node. Min is still now because the, it's on the left side. But for the max, it cannot be greater than this value because this is the root node. Every single subtree, every single node on the left side of this node needs to be smaller than, exactly smaller than this root node. So we have a max for this, for this value, for this node. We just check if the value resides in this node is in is between this boundary, this min and max. Okay, that is true. Okay, now we're happy, we move back to here, then we'll continue to check here. So here, what's the min and max here? So the min is going to be five, max is still now. Max could be anything. Arbitrarily really big, that's fine, because this one is on the right side of this node. So we'll see, min is five. Max is now, then we'll continue to check. Seven is within this boundary, right? Seven is greater than five. Now could be arbitrarily large. We don't care. Then we'll continue to check on this side. This side, what's going to be the min and max for this node? 
mean is going to be five, max is going to be seven. Because this node is on the left side of this node, the max does exist for this node is going to be seven because this node is on the left side of seven. In order for this subtree to be a valid BST, this one needs to be smaller than this root node, which is the current root node is seven. So max is seven, min is still five, right? I hope everyone is still with me. Because where do we get five? Because we get this five from this root node. Everything on this side is still a subtree from five, right? It's still a subtree on the right side of five. So every single child gets their min and max, if not overridden from their parent. So we have min is five, max is seven for three. We'll check if three is within the boundary. No, it's not, right? So three is not greater than min, which is five. So we'll just break out. This is false. This is not a valid binary search tree. We don't even need to check the right side child, which is eight. We don't even need to look at that. We'll just return because here we know this is not a valid binary search tree anymore. With that said, we can just quickly put the idea into the actual code. Let's take a look. So here, let's see. First, we'll check what the root equals to now. If that is the case, we'll just return true, right? We don't care about this. And then we'll just use a helper function. We'll call it DFS, put root node, and then here is min and max. Remember, we use a min and max, min and max, beginning with now, right? And then let's implement this helper function. Um, boolean, we'll return boolean DFS, tree node root, we'll use integer main first, and then max. So first, we'll still also check whether root equals to now. If that is true, we'll just return. If that is the case, we'll just return true. Otherwise, we'll check two cases, right? Uh, two cases here. Let me write it this way. Two cases. If main not equals to now, and in this case, right? If Okay, this is main. If main not equals to now, and the the current value that we're checking the current value we're checking is smaller is exactly smaller than main okay if root value is smaller than all equal to sorry it needs to be smaller than all equal to because we're checking the negative case we'll return false here if this root value is smaller than all equal to main which is we're going to return false right and or if max not equals to now and the current node that we're checking at is greater than or equal to max that is a bad case this that is going to invalidate this entire binary tree right and we'll just return false these are the two cases remember we check if the node we're looking at is within the boundary of the mean and max beginning from the tree mean and max are both now and then after this, if this is fine, we'll just go through this entire two subtrees. Go to its left side. Now we'll have to update min and max. When going to the left side, when going to the left side, which one can we update? It's going to be the max value, right? This is the max value. When going to the left side, we update the max value. Min doesn't need to change. Max value is going to be the root value, right? Everything on the left side should be exactly smaller than the current node root value. And then we'll have DFS here, root right side. When we are going to the right side, we need to update the mean value, which is going to be root.val and max is not changed. All right, this is the entire program to validate whether a given binary tree is a valid binary search tree. Now let's hit submit and see. All right, let's accept it. Then let's talk about the time complexity is going to be O n. n is the number of nodes because we have to traverse every single node. Otherwise, we cannot guarantee that this is a valid binary search tree. Space complexity is also O n. I hope this video does help you to understand the program and the code, how to validate the binary search tree using the recursive fashion. If that's the case, please do me a favor and hit the like button. That's going to help a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification. Right now, we're going through kind of easy entry-level tree problems. After this, we'll go through dynamic programming and then sorting and searching and then different combinations of data structures and algorithms to help people better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews.
that's it for today's video i hope you guys like it i'll see you guys in the next one